My name is Stu Kokenauer. I'm the share pastor here at Southcliff, and I'm really here to help you focus on uh, on the world and, and following God wherever he leads you to share his love and message. And just before we leave, really quick, an example here. This is Sarah Shearer. You may know Sarah. Sarah's one of our college students. She goes to school at TCU, and she's active here at Southcliff. And I just wanted to, to, to bring her up and get to know her because uh, at a lunch a few months ago for college students that we had talking about doing summer missions, I was talking with Sarah and I said, Sarah, are you interested in doing summer, summer missions? She, says, she said, I'd really like to, but I may have to go to the Olympics. And Sarah will be competing, representing our country uh, at the Olympics in, in London this summer. And Sarah, why don't you tell us a little bit about the event that you'll be uh, participating in? Okay. Um, well, I am, the event that I qualified in is a women's air rifle event, so it's a shooting event. And I also have an opportunity to um, qualify for another event, which is shooting small bore rifle, 22 rifles. Okay. So, uh, to the air rifle, I know we know the Red Rider BB gun, I guess there's no <laughs> pump on that, but what, I, this is, I actually saw a picture, it's a pretty high-tech little machine that they mm -hmm. have uh, mm -hmm. to do this, and what, what do you shoot at? Do you shoot at tin cans on a wall? <laughs> what do they do for that? <laughs> Not quite. Um, we actually shoot at targets, okay. and so they're about the size of, you know, an oversized quarter, and in the center of that target is a little dot, and that's the 10. And at the world-class level, you have to be hitting that at least 99% of the time, and that's 33 feet away. So it's how, a very small how target. How big is that dot? It's about the size of like a 12-font period. A period on your, uh, on a, wow, 12-point yeah. font. So small. That, and you have to hit that a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yes. great, wow. <laughs> uh, and uh, well, how, did, how long have you been shooting? Is this something you picked up this year, or? <laughs> no, not quite. Um, I would be crazy good if I would pick up in a year. Um, but no, I've been competing for 12 years, and I started when I was nine. So, okay. quite a while. Well, that's great. Well, help us understand, uh, in Texas, I know there's a lot of folks that have guns, and they just assume, well, I'm, I'm born able to shoot, and so, you know, how do I improve my skills? What do you do to train for, for marksmanship? Um, well, a lot of it's about body control, and you, you know, during your training time, you learn, you learn how to, you kind of, well, you teach your body how to be very controlled, very still. And say in other sports, maybe say soccer or running, you, those athlete, athletes are teaching themselves to contract the muscles in a very specific way. Mm -hmm. um, but in our sport, we actually learn how to control our body in relaxation. And so you can maintain a still position and so you can hit the target. That so dot. less like running, more like yoga. Correct. Okay, there we go. Great. Okay, I got it. Okay, well, that sounds pr pretty exciting. How long do you train? I mean, do you, do you train every day? Do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, train every day. Um, you know, usually I take off, you know, one day a week just to have a good day of rest. Okay. Um, and, but it's, you know, a lot of training, three to four hours a day usually. Okay. Okay. It's pretty, pretty intense. Okay. Well, help me out here because I know uh, there are a lot of athletes that claim to love Jesus, and if they, they win a game, you know, they'll, they'll do something like that, you know, let everybody know that, but they're not active in a church, but I've seen you, I didn't even know that you were an athlete, I just knew that you were a part of the college ministry here and interested in missions and things. How has being a member, an active member at Southcliffe and being involved in ministry uh, helped you? I mean, it's, it's not even helped me, it's who I am, and I mean, Christ is, is number one in my life, and so just maintaining, you know, that the fellowship with fellow believers and just having that accountability with the college ministry um, and just some great group of, you know, girls and guys that I've met over there have just been, their, their impact on my life has been unparalleled. Um, and then also I've gotten a few opportunities to work with Va Vacation Bible School, mm -hmm. and that's just a great break for me because my summer is always really busy with travel, but when I get to come back and I get to work with the kids and be a kid again, mm -hmm. that just like, you know, reevaluates your life and just having faith like a child, it just shows you this is really what it's about. And, and it's great we're an intergenerational group. After the last service, Glenn and Eswadami, one of our senior adult ladies who I love, came up to you and you, you've met her and worked mm -hmm. with her. And so that's just that's neat awesome. that you're connected here. Uh, last thing before we leave, we want to be able to pray for you and support you as you, as you go off to compete uh, in a few weeks. But how can we be praying for you? Um, Definitely, please pray for a gold. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> the, the good thing is in Texas, we pray for scoreboards. We have no right. problem with that in exactly. Texas, so we're good with that. So gold medal, yeah. keep okay. that one in your prayer list. Yeah. Um, also, just, you know, that my, I'll be able to be involved with a couple of ministries over there. Um, one is lay, lay Witnesses for Christ, and just that opportunity I've been given is just awesome. And just that God will have his hand in that and just really work with, um, you know, that I'll be able to work with some really cool people over there that I can minister to people and they can also minister to me and that just, you know, God's hand will be evident. That's great because actually yours is, I think, the, the first event mm -hmm. in the Olympics that you can 
metal in, mm-hmm. and so that, that's great. And then you'll have some ministry opportunities right. after that. Well, great. Well, let's all stand together. We want to pray for Sarah, but also pray for one another. As Spencer uh, so well pointed out, all of you have places that God will take you tomorrow, and you'll have opportunities um, to be obedient and to share his love and message wherever you are tomorrow. And so let's pray for Sarah, but also for one another. Father, thank you for, for Sarah for, for bringing her to this point in her life and for letting her be an ambassador for Christ as well as for a competitor for our nation. And Father, I pray that she, she would be successful in all she does. And Father, even more importantly, she'll be able to, to witness and share her testimony with many and you would be glorified. And Father, for all of us in this room, wherever you take us tomorrow, let us be me understanding that we are our missionaries and ambassadors wherever we go. In your name we pray. Amen. You're dismissed.